All right, and welcome back to another exercise session. I hope you all, what are we up to, Friday? Have had a good week and enjoyed all the chocolate that was had over the Chris, oh, Christmas, Easter break. Um, so yeah, let's... Now it's time to work off all, the, all that extra chocolate you've eaten. That's it. But before we start getting into the exercise, let's start with the four words that we always start our sessions with that you've got to try and remember by the end of the session because it's just as much about um, keeping the mind active as it is about keeping the body active. Um, so the four, ex uh, the four words that we're going to start with today that we're going to have you try and remember by the end of the session is parrot, kettle, wall and mouse. So that's parrot, kettle, wall and mouse. They're the four words we need you to remember by the end of the session, all right? And then once you're ready, we're gonna start jogging on the spot. Good work. Keep jogging now, keep jogging. It's a bit harder to jog today after all them chocolates. <laughs> Good work, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. What have we got next, Jess? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our high knees, but we're going to run sideways. All right, so you ready? So it's gonna, high knees, but you're going one way, and then going the other. That's it, keep going. Alright, and back to jogging. Good work, keep jogging on the spot. We're going to do some more sideways movement soon, but just at the moment, let's keep jogging on the spot. Alright, next one is going to be sideways gallops. So we're just going to gallop. And then to the other side. You can even swing your arms if you want. But you don't have to do that. <laughs> Depends on what space you've got. Alright, let's go back to jogging. Good work, we're just back to jogging on the spot now. This is just part of the warm up. All right, let's go back into those high knees, but going sideways. Just side to side, get the knees nice and high while we go side to side. Good work, side to side, keep going. Alright, back to jogging. We're almost finished the warm up. But first, let's do the sideways galloping again. Good work. Jogging on the spot now. Let's do 15 more seconds of jogging on the spot. And then that's the warm up done. And we can do a little bit of mobility work. Good work, keep going. A few more seconds. Good work, stop there. That's the warm up done. Ooh, grab yourself a drink. Alright, once you've gotten your 
yourself a drink. I'm going to grab a mat or just a space where you're doing your exercise. We can come down onto. We'll get you to lay down onto the ground now. Yeah, if you've got a mat or a towel, you're welcome to use that. However, it doesn't really matter if you don't. If you've got a soft bit of ground, just like carpet, that should be fine also. But what we're going to do, we're going to lay onto our back. We're going to have our knees bent so our feet are flat on the ground. And what we're going to do, some people call these windscreen wipers or, or leg rolls. And what we're going to do is just drop both legs down to one side, hold it for a second or two, and then come back over to the other side. So we're just going side to side with our legs. And one butt cheek might lift up off the ground while we stretch out our lower back. Great work, keep going side to side. And then next we've got um, a single leg crossover. So putting one leg up and then crossing it over. So we drag that leg all the way across to the other side of the body. And then we swap that over and drag the other leg over across the other side of the body. Again, a really good one for the lower back. If you've been sitting down watching a lot of movies or doing all that homeschooling, um, this is a great one to make sure that you, you remain active. Very good. Let's just do that one more time each side and then we're gonna do another, another exercise on the ground. Okay, this one, we're going to bend both legs. We're going to start in the same position as we started the first exercise on the ground. And what we're going to do, we're going to kick one foot up into the, into the air, almost as if you're kicking toward the ceiling or trying to bring your foot to your nose and then back down. And then kick the other leg up toward the foot to the nose. Good, and we're just going to do that side to side. And you could feel a nice little stretch throughout this exercise in behind the back of the thigh muscles. Great work. Keep going, a few more times each side. One more each side. Great work. All right, and then to finish off, we're just gonna do some upper body stretches. So what we're going to do is just bring one arm across and then pulling that towards our body a bit closer and you'll feel that all down the side here. So holding that. So we cross one arm across our body and then with the other arm we help try and pull that toward our body. Alright, and we'll go to the other side. We'll do that one more time each side. There we are. Alrighty. Now Great work. This one we're gonna it's gonna be a different exercise. You've probably not done something like this before. We're gonna call it um, a lateral, a lateral plank crawl. And what we're going to do, we're going to start in a push-up position. So we're going to be on our hands and our toes. Okay? But we're not going to be doing push-ups. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be using both sides of our brain at the same time. So this is really, really good for the brain just as much as it is for the, for the body. Because what we're going to do, we're going to be trying to move sideways. We're going to be moving laterally. But whilst we're moving laterally, we're gonna be moving our right arm and our left leg at the same time. And we're gonna be moving our left arm and our right leg at the same time. So while we crawl sideways, we're gonna be using opposite arm and opposite leg at the same time. So it requires a lot of, a lot of focus and concentration and, right. and the brain to be really active. 
So Jess, we're gonna demonstrate, and what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your right arm out to the side as the same time as you bring your left foot in toward the other foot. Good. Great, back, have a rest. Okay, we're gonna get you to try that at home. It's gonna be quite difficult. This is an exercise that you might not get the first go, but something that's definitely worth trying over the next few days and even over the next few weeks. Um, like we just said, it's, a, it's, a, it's an incredible way to keep the body moving as well as the brain. When we're little babies and we start crawling for the first time, it's more than just a way of transport. It's really good um, to develop our brain and our neurological system because again, when we crawl, we're moving the right arm at the same time as our left leg. And this is um, a progression of that because we're doing that whilst moving laterally, which means sideways. Okay, we're gonna go again with Jess. So up, onto the, um, up into the push-up position. And let's move the opposite limbs at the same time. Let's go. And then back the other way. Jess can get confused, anyone can get confused. Great work, have a rest, let's do that one more time. Rightio, back down into the push up position. We're gonna go sideways and then back the other way. Ready and go. Very good. Have a rest, have a drink of water. That, one, that one's probably a little bit challenging, but I'm sure some of you did quite well with that. Yeah. Okay, grab a drink of water, come back down. We've got another challenging, challenging exercise, which is quite challenging for the brain as well as it is for the, uh, as well as it is for the body. Okay, once you've had a drink of water, we're gonna get you to come back in. And this one we're gonna do three sets of 12, but we're doing one side, um, one side at the same, at one time. So we're doing six each side. And what the exercise looks like, it's called the sit out. So we're gonna put our hands on the ground, similar to the push up position we were just in, but instead of being so flat, we're gonna bring our feet in a little bit. So our knees are bent, and what we're gonna do with this leg, so in this case, our right leg, we're gonna bring it through this gap here that is made between our left arm and our left leg. So we're gonna take that right bum cheek down toward the ground as we sit that leg through. And then we come up and then we do the same thing with the opposite side. The left leg now goes through that gap while our left bum cheek goes down toward the ground. So from front on, again, it's a, it's a challenging one for the brain, but it's one of them exercises, once you get it, you develop the neurological pathways, and it makes it far easier to do more of them. Okay, so push up position, bring the knees in, put the leg through that space. Okay. Have a couple of tries at that, and then we're gonna do three sets of 12 together, and I'm gonna do them with you. Okay. Once you've had a try of that, let's do it together. We're gonna to have Jess count for, count for us. Yeah. Rightio. Ready? Let's go together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, have a rest there. Good work. Short rest, shake the legs out. We've got two more lots of twelve to go. Right here, yeah, when you're ready. Let's go again. Push up position, bring the knees in, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Quick, shake the legs out again. We got one more of them. How are you finding this exercise? Is it all right? Right here, let's go again. Good, last lot of 12. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Nice work. Go grab yourself a drink. Very good. Quick drink of water. Alright, so whilst you're having a drink, I'm going to go through the next lot of exercises. So this time, this session, we're going to, we've done something similar before where we work for or exercise for 30 seconds and then have 20 seconds rest. So what we're going to do is we've got three exercises and we're going to go 30 seconds on and 20 seconds off for each of those exercises and we're going to go through it four times all together. So, the first exercise that we're going to be doing are toe touch rocket jump. So what that looks like is we're bending down, touching our opposite arm to opposite toe and then jumping up with our arms stretched up like a rocket. So we're going to do that for 30 seconds and then after that we'll have 20 seconds rest and then we're going into forward and backward bear crawls. So what that looks like is in our bear position, we're just crawling back, forward for four, and then back to four. And just keep doing that for the 30 seconds. And then we have the 20 seconds rest. And then on the last 30 seconds, we're going through mountain climbs. So they're the ones where you're in that plank position, and you're bringing your knee up to your elbows and just switching each leg over each time. And then after that, we'll have a bit of a rest and then we'll go back into the toe touch rocket jumps. So we'll do it four times all together. Right, I have a short rest. Now you know what we're doing. If you need to practice any of them exercises before we do it, you've got 10 seconds, okay? We're gonna start in 10 seconds. And we're going to start with the, um, the toe touch rocket jumps. And we're going to do that for 30 seconds and then we get 20 seconds rest. Okay, ready, set, go. 30 seconds on, do it with Jess. Very good, that's 10 seconds done already. Ten to go. Ten to go and we get 20 seconds rest. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop there. 20 seconds rest starts now. Okay, we got the, the forward and backward bear crawls next. We're going to do that for 30 seconds and then we get another 20 seconds rest. Make sure you make the most of this rest period. Get deep, deep breathing happening. And go, let's go. We've got 30 seconds of this. Great work, just 15 seconds to go. You're halfway there already. Three more seconds. And stop. 20 seconds rest starts now. Big deep breath. We've got the mountain climbers next in 10 seconds. Okay, ready, set, and go. We've 
We've got 30 seconds of this. We've got only 20 seconds to go now. And then we get another rest. Great work, 10 more seconds, keep working. Can you keep up with Jess? Try to keep up, only a few more seconds to go and stop there. Okay. We're gonna go through that two more times. 10 seconds, we're gonna start with the rocket toe jumps again. Okay, ready, set, and go. Do it with Jess now, 30 seconds. Jump up nice and high. As high as you can, get them arms all the way up to the ceiling if you can. Can you touch the ceiling at home? Great work, keep working, keep working, keep working. Just five more seconds. And rest. Ooh, legs are burning. Are your legs sore yet? Yep. 10 more seconds of rest and then we get to go into the, the forward and backward bear crawls. Okay, ready, set, go. Great work, 15 seconds to go. You're doing really well, there's only five seconds to go. Are you able to keep up with Jess? Stop there, we've got 20 seconds rest now. Ten more seconds rest. Okay, let's get ready for mountain climbers. Into the push-up position and go. 30 seconds of these. Great work, just 10 seconds to go now. Stop there, have a rest. Let's just go through this one more time and then we get a drink of water, one more activity and then we're done, okay? There's not much more to go. Can do it. We're gonna go through it all again, just one more time. We're gonna start in three seconds and go. Right, I jump all the way up, touch, try touch the ceiling, hands all the way up as well. Great work. 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds. And stop. That's the toe touch rocket jumps all done. All done. We don't have to do them ones again today. I reckon a lot of people are going to come out of this home isolation fitter than they went into it. I think so. It's pretty tough. Okay, ready? We're gonna do the bear crawls. Ready, set, go. After we finish this block of 30 seconds bear crawls, that's done for bear crawls for the, for the day. Just 15 more seconds. We're halfway there on our last one. Five more seconds. Keep working, keep working with Jess. And stop there. We've got 20 seconds more rest, then 30 more seconds of this circuit, and that circuit's done. Can do it. Okay, ready, set, go. This is our mountain climbers on.
Keep up with Jess through this. Don't slow down. This is your last 30 seconds. Just five more seconds to go. And stop. Go get a big drink of water. Shake your legs out. Great work. Go grab a big drink of water before we finish up with our last activity. Great work. Let's have another 15 seconds rest to have a drink of water. And then we're gonna finish off with just um, what we call bounds and running back. So while you're having a drink of water, I'll explain what we have to do. So all we're gonna do is with both legs starting on the ground, we're gonna jump as far in that direction as we can. And then we're gonna run back. And then we're gonna do it again. And then we're gonna run back. So we're gonna do that eight times, have a short rest. We're gonna do that three sets of eight, and then we're gonna finish with that challenge, okay? Rightio, ready? Let's jump together, and go. Run back. That four, four more to go. Two more. Last one and we get a short rest. Good, short rest. You probably can't jump as far as you usually can. We saw that circuit you did with Jeff before. Right here. Two more sets of eight to go. Are you ready? Let's go. One. Two, three, four, halfway, five, six, two more to go, seven, eight. Nice. Another rest. Grab a quick drink if you need it. We got one more set of eight to go, and then we're pretty much done. How do the legs feel? Pretty heavy, I reckon. Okay, let's go again. Last lot of eight. Last lot of eight. That's two. We are halfway. Four. Four, more. Four to go. Five. Only Six. Two more left. Seven. Here we go, make the last one a good one. Eight. Nice work. Good work. Shake those legs out and have a drink. Have a drink of water. And let's just finish with the challenge. I'll touch on it again. Remember we've been doing it at the end of every session. And it's something we want you to get good at over this whole period of time that you're stuck inside, okay? So we're gonna get deep into a squat, elbows on the inside of the knee, palms flat on the ground, and we're gonna bring our feet up off the ground as we lean our body weight forward. So we start shifting our body weight forward, feet up off the ground, and see how long you can stay there for. Hopefully you've been getting better at this. Very good. How are you going? All right. All right, do you remember the four words, Thomas? Yes, I think I do remember the four words. I believe it was parrot. Yes. Wall. Yes. Kettle. Yep. And mouse. That's it. So parrot, kettle, wall, and mouse. Those were the four words. Did you guys remember them at home? We hope you enjoyed the exercise and we'll see you next time. See you then.